feeling so grateful right now for answered prayers. We finally got a good rain last night during this tremendous heat wave we've been put upon. The gardens have been really, really holding up well, but I could tell that the heat was getting to them. And when it started raining last night, the temperature dropped 30 degrees. It went from 100 degrees to 70 in a matter of moments. And the relief you can feel out here, the garden is sighing with relief. So I'm so grateful, not to mention the fact that the rainwater always does so much better than my well water. <laughs> it's got the magical ingredients. So this morning I am being tasked with a very important assignment. I unfortunately had to help Miss Elsie, our neighbor, uh, was that yesterday? Yeah. Yesterday, no, the day before was the full moon and that's when she likes to plant her peas, is what she told me, is on the full moon in June. So Ryan and I went down there at eight o'clock at night and got those peas in the ground for her to make sure that she could do it because unfortunately she had a little bit of an accident and is not able to garden for a little bit until her hand heals. So we are pitching in and helping her as much as we can. So I got in there and I put the seeds in that she had given me. Um, I, she had given me the seeds a while back and she said, yes, just plant some of those pea seeds I gave you. And so I went down there and I planted them and then I left Ryan to water in some stuff and I came back up because I have a sick baby and so I had to come back up here for Odin. And then Ryan came back up and he said that Miss Elsie had come down right after I had left and she said, no, no, not those peas. And I was like, I don't have any other peas. She said the pea seeds that she gave me. So I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe I planted the wrong peas. Did I plant them in the wrong place? What did I do? So yesterday I gave her a call and I figured it out. She thought she had given me a different kind of pea seeds. So I went over and got the right pea seeds and I have to go back down there and plant them. And I was going to do that last night after 8 o'clock when it cooled off. But that is right when the storm moved in. So it prevented me from going down there and planting the seeds. And then I was going to wake up early this morning before the sun and water everything down there for her. Those plants got thwarted <laughs> and I didn't get up this morning somehow, even though I meant to. And so now it is later morning, but it is still way cooler than it will be later today. So I got to get down there, put in the correct seeds. So she has the seeds that I put in, she said, are butter peas. And the seeds that she wants me to plant are runner peas. Now these are seeds that she has been saving from year to year forever. So she doesn't have any cultivars or names. These are like the true heirloom seeds y'all like generations of passing down in one family so and all grown in our area so i'm very fortunate that she's sharing these wonderful seeds with me because they're going to be acclimated to my area and they're going to grow great for us and i can't wait to see how they do for us so no more talking let me get this done and out of the way before the sun comes all the way up and starts cooking me out here. I've got my full jar of water. I've got a full belly of coffee. So I should be good for the next hour or so to get this all done. The watering might take me longer than that, but I'm hoping that some of this rain has drenched it enough where the watering won't take as long as it would have if it hadn't rained. So I am gonna have to water some of the stuff down there because it was to that level of dryness, but we are going to use as little as we can and just enough to keep everything surviving through this heat wave. <laughs> proper peas planted and everything watered in down there and the sun is up down there pretty high it feels really hot down there it's a little bit cooler up here in this garden as there's still a little bit of shade left so I'm gonna try to hurry up and 
um, grab some buckets of water out of the kids' swimming pool and pour them into these beds to keep them hydrated through this heat. I'm a little out of breath. It's funny because I've never really grown the southern peas or peas that are like beans. I don't know how you would describe the difference between those peas and the peas that I've grown. I've grown sweet peas, green peas, you know, like, like when you buy a can of peas or a bag of peas, it's sweet peas or snap peas or snow peas, the cold weather peas, <laughs> English peas. Not sure what you call it, but I've never grown the others because it's something my family has never really enjoyed as a side dish. I might be showing my Yankee a little bit here because I didn't grow up in the South. And so my home cooked meals never had black eyed peas. And so it was never something I grew up with in a nostalgic type food for me. But the only time I've really, really enjoyed those type of peas is when they were freshly grown, freshly harvested and cooked by a southerner. And then I love them. But like if I buy a can of them or if I rehydrate them from a dry bean and I make them, eh, they're not as good, honestly. So I have a lot to learn in that department and I'm glad that I have one of the wisest teachers available to teach me. Celsi has been such a wonderful blessing to our family and we appreciate having her as a neighbor so much and we've learned so much from her and we are continuing to learn from her so it is our honor to do something for her to pay back all of the kindness she has shown us so we are going to continue to help her over the next coming weeks as she heals and try to keep her garden as pretty as she does but I know I'm not going to do as well as she does with the weeds I have to be honest, that woman is a weed a matic She can weed for hours and make it look beautiful. And I weed for a little bit and it still looks bad. So <laughs> I bow to her in, the, in that regard. But all I can do is do my best to help out somebody who needs our help and to keep her garden healthy while she heals. And I can keep it alive, I know I can do that. So I will make sure that I keep it watered and I already did a little bit more weeding on her side than I've even done on my own. But it's for her that I do it. It's not because I have to, it's not because I need to, it's because I want to. And that is, that is where my heart is, so. I'm gonna keep helping. So for now, my tomatoes need some help. I'm gonna get a couple of buckets of water and douse them. Y'all, it is no joke out there. I just had to come in and I was starting to feel lightheaded and I was drinking my water, but my shirt was so soaked through that you could wring out the liquid. I mean, look at my hair. Even my hair like down to here is wet because it was dripping down my ponytail. Like I'm soaked, soaked. And I really wasn't working hard. I was being very careful. While this heat wave is going on, I don't think I'm going to be getting a whole lot done outside. So I need to figure out what kind of projects I can do inside that are going to bring me closer to my goal of sustainability. So time to walk around the house and make a list like I do outside when I'm making a list for the garden. But y'all, I am so grateful that we have air conditioning. I know there are some people out there that are without it, and I just couldn't imagine in this heat wave not having the air conditioning to come in and rest with.